Hi everyone. Hey, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And I have a guest with me today. His name is Pete Mackey and he is a business development specialist with Avidas Group. And our topic today is what is a PEO and how it can help your cleaning company. So Pete, I'd like to thank you for joining me today to talk about this topic. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Well, one of the things that I thought I'd just start us off with is, is my background as a cleaning business owner. So many, many years ago, <laughs> Steve and I started our cleaning company, and I had somewhat of an HR background. I managed about 60 employees in my corporate background. So, you know, we started our business, and <clears throat> I just started doing it all myself. I did the payroll. I did all the hiring forms and back in those, I mean, honestly, we didn't even have internet when we started in the eighties. So we had to go to the state and see all the legalities. And so, you know, it's very, it's kind of scary because you're afraid you're going to miss paying taxes. You're going to miss, you know, calculate something. And so all this pressure is on you as the business owner to do all this stuff. So, you know, fast forward many years and I learned about PEO companies and it took me a little while to wrap my head around it at first because I was like, I just didn't understand the co-employment situation, which Pete, you can speak to. Um, and, but you know, now that I've been using a PEO company for several years, I just love it because it's like I have this whole HR department that I can rely on not only to do my payroll, but we're able to offer some benefits through my company and um, you know, there's any time I have a question or I need a new job description or, you know, I'm not sure how to handle a certain situation, you know, I've got them to rely on. So um, Pete, can you just um, talk about, you know, what exactly does PEO mean and why might a business owner want to enter into this type of arrangement? Absolutely. And thank you, Jean, for inviting me. I look forward to uh, sharing the PEO model with your um, audience. So the PEO model, PEO model really stands for a professional employer organization. It's an acronym. Basically what it is, it's a um, relationship between the business owner and a third party. Uh, at Avitas, we offer the PEO model. So between the business owner and Avitas. And what we do is we bring four uh, departments to the table. You mentioned HR. There's an HR person that works directly with the business owner, a point of contact in the business. And their main focus is, again, liability protection, making sure you're current with all state and federal regulations. Because as you know, being a business owner, HR is like an evergreen. It's always changing, always moving. And really, you need to keep sharp on the different rules and regulations. And we help you do that as part of the HR piece. Secondly, there's payroll. Now, the unique piece kicks in here on the HR and the payroll piece. Under co-employment, it's a shared liability for HR. So PEOs typically offer uh, insurance products that protect the business owner of employee-related lawsuits. And then on the payroll side, we take on full liability for payroll. That's payroll taxes, that's wage garnishments, uh, unemployment claims, all those things. And the way that works in this relationship um, is your, your employees come onto our tax accounts, federal and state. Um, we pay taxes on your behalf. It feels very normal, like a normal payroll relationship, but if there's ever an issue, the uh, IRS or the, or the state will come to us to resolve that issue. Uh, if you're using a payroll service, not a PEO, there is an issue. This, the state or the federal government comes to you, the business owner. And the, the payroll company will probably help you out, provide some reports, provide some analysis. But ultimately, in a regular payroll relationship, the business owner is responsible uh, for that totally. Um, but in a PEO, they're not. The PEO is responsible. So it's a, it's a shift of liability, which is yeah. great. Um, the third department is benefits. Like you mentioned before, uh, PEOs, because they typically have lots of companies as part of the PEO, they can leverage that size to provide benefits that sometimes can mirror Fortune 500 benefits, but for a smaller size company. So someone with 5, 10, 100 employees can offer similar benefits to a big company such as Deloitte, where I used to work myself. So that's healthcare, dental, vision, life insurance, all sorts of things. And the fourth department that comes with a PEO typically is the workers' comp risk safety uh, management team. So that includes workers' comp, that includes management of claims, often a big pain point. That's the audits. They're all, they all come off your plate, not the PEO's plate. 
And so no more end of your audits and payroll to, to verify workers' comp amounts. And it also offers a, usually a wide selection of trainings. At Avitas, we offer CPR training. We offer certification in certain um, uh, technical skills like forklift operation, um, uh, different things like that that are designed to keep your employees safe and to reduce the cost of your workers' comp in the long run. Yeah. So really, it comes down to two things. One, it comes down to offering more services and benefits to your employees and saving the business owner some liability and pain and suffering. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I really like that over time, we start offering more of these benefits to our employees. Now, now we've got a pretty small group, um, you know, than we used to, but since when we had our cleaning company, but still, I mean, we're a small company using a PEO service. So this is really available to anyone, but you know, it was really nice when we added on, um, we added on vision, short-term and long-term liability. And my full-time at the time, we just had one full-time employee and he was so grateful for that. He thought it was great. And the first time he used his vision insurance, he's like, Oh, this is so great. You know, I get to have this discount on my vision. You know, it's not, you don't get a ton from it, but you know, he got some, a really nice discount off his glasses and his appointment. And you know, it, and actually too, now we pay for a portion or, or I think, you, you know, there's different options on how you want to pay for that. You can have them pay for part of it. We actually picked up the cost of it because it was so inexpensive. And so for him, it was a great uh, benefit compensation wise. So, you know, if you got somebody like he's been with us for many years. And so, you know, he's at the top of his pay range. And so it was a really nice to be able to add a benefit rather than just giving a pay raise. You know, so absolutely. Really nice. And you know, the other thing we haven't talked about, which is often included in a, in a PEO package when it comes to benefits is the 401k. Um, you know, depending on the state you're in, for example, in California, where I am, uh, employers that have five or more employees will be required to offer um, sexual harassment training in a 401k. So sometimes you can't afford that, right? Like setting up your own 401k can be several thousand dollars just to have the plan open, let alone contributions to it for employees and things like that. So there is a compliance piece, but also, like you say, a nice benefits perk. Yeah. So, you know, and you mentioned something about different states too. So you're in California, I'm in Minnesota. And now a lot of cleaning companies, the smaller companies are just um, working out of one state, but then there's regional companies and national companies who are operating in many states. That can be right. just unwieldy to manage. And so having a company like yours, now I did just hire someone in Wisconsin and it was a piece of cake because, you know, I'm in Minnesota and, you know, you have to set up accounts in Wisconsin and so forth. I didn't have to worry about any of that. It was all taken care of for me. That's a really good point. And often something that I work with, I love working with business owners like yourself that are expanding and entrepreneurially minded that have vision or aspirations to expand to the states because you're right, because the liability for payroll shifts on the Adidas count. You don't need to set up state payroll tax accounts or anything like that when you open up other offices in other states. And like you said, um, the onboarding piece can be quite simple. And really at the end of the day, uh, you don't need to worry about Wisconsin law versus North Dakota law versus whatever, because the PEO will guide you along the way. Yeah. I mean, it is it is unwieldy to try and memorize or worst case scenario, Google late night HR regulations in different states. You just you don't want to you want to avoid that if you can. Yeah. So what size company typically uses a PEO company? Is there That's a, a great question? Size? <laughs> yeah, it's a great question. I mean, for the cleaning industry, certainly I would say um, anywhere from five up to 100 employees. Um, at some point, you'll you'll probably want to do some uh, hiring for an internal position for HR and things like that. But um, it's really scalable. I mean, at Avitas, we we are very different than other PEOs because we do help smaller businesses. Some people only shoot for people that have 20 employees or more. Avitas really covers the full gambit. I mean, I. I was talking to someone um, just the other day who has uh, three employees, uh, their cleaning company out here in California. And on the flip side, we have a much larger uh, client in Irvine, Southern California has 300 employees. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to two things. One, how much of a headache is it for your business to keep track of all the compliance things you do? And two, um, 
do you want to offer additional benefits to your employees? Um, so those are two things I would, I would keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when we started, we, we started right at kind of toward the tail end of when we sold our cleaning company. And so, you know, I wanted to keep that. And then we were going down, we were starting a virtual business. And so there was only three of us and they said, sure, no problem. So, you know, we started with our PEO company with three people and that was it. So, and we're still small. I mean, in, you know, relative to other companies. So, um, but it's, I, I really love it. I think it's great. Uh, so, and, and it's affordable too. I mean, maybe, I don't know, how do you address the, how much does it cost question? Sure. Um, different PEOs do price differently. Some PEOs have a per employee cost, anywhere from $1,500 to employee up to $2,500 per employee. Um, and that's Adidas, per year, isn't it? Is per year. Per year, right. Correct. Per year. Uh, Avidas, we, we typically do a, a percentage of payroll. Uh, this is a little different of a model. It's somewhere between 3% and 5%. Um, and it's run every month. So every time you run payroll, um, we, we run a, a percentage of that. Um, so, yeah, but at the end of the day, typically the cost of a PEO is the cost of a part-time employee. And in exchange, you get expertise and four great teams. Yeah, absolutely. So can you speak to some of the benefits, um, first of all, to employers and then benefits to employees? Oh, We've sure. talked a little bit about it already, but just kind of recap that. Yeah, absolutely. So I'd say on the employer side, the main benefits you get is one, you get um, very simple uh, compliance. All the headache of uh, HR regulations, policy changes, all those kind of things, they all come off your plate. So it simplifies, it simplifies things quite good. And then the second thing that employers love is the ability to uh, attract and retain talent with the benefits package you can offer. So right. those are two, two main benefits, I would say. Um, and of course, the third piece for employers is the workers' comp piece. Um, oftentimes, mm -hmm. the audits at the end of the year can be quite uh, exhausting to deal with. Yeah. And PEOs, PEOs will take that all off your plate. So those are the three benefits for employers. For employees, I would say it's twofold. One, uh, you can have access to benefits you may not have access with um, a similar size company that doesn't have a PEO. You can have medical uh, vision, dental, all those kind of things, which is nice to have as an employee. The second thing is oftentimes PEOs will bring a technology platform that they can log in and see their pay stubs, their W-2s, um, they'll get paid direct deposit. It just simplifies things from a technology perspective for employees. You know, on demand is really our culture now and being able to access your pay stubs or your W-2 or anything you need um, anytime you want on a virtual platform, just using a login is an advantage for an employee. And I would say the other thing to think about too is there is um, a program called an EAP, Employee Assistance Program, that a lot of PEOs offer. That includes um, a free counseling for life emergencies, like if someone passes away in your family or you have a big issue, you can call a hotline with a confidential um, therapist that can walk you through issues. There's often discounts on amusement parks, um, activities for your family that's offered to the EA, EAP. Um, so it's kind of like, a, again, the Fortune 500 perks that you can get as an employee. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that's great. Um, my PBO also does offer that as well. So that's a really great benefit. And the online stuff is great. I know that my employees can also go and we offer PTO, so paid time off. And they can check it. Every paycheck, a new report comes out on their balance on how many hours they have left. And, and they love being able to know exactly where they're at with their, with their time off as well. And um, one of the other things that we have done for us is that uh, our company policy manual, um, it was written for us. Yeah. And then it gets updated occasionally too. Right, right. Yeah, under the HR team, that's the first thing they'll do when they set you up, a PEO yeah. HR rep who's been assigned to your account will come in. They'll have a conversation with the owner, talk about what are the key things you're worried about, how can we mitigate those. And then on the regulatory side, let's build out a handbook, rules of the road, things that your employees will have to live by, you know, PTO policy, drug policy, um, you know, sexual harassment, all those kind of things that as a business owner, 
you don't want to deal with. You don't, you shouldn't have to, but if you do, they're in writing and your employees has agreed to that yeah. uh, course of action. So certainly handbook is, is, a, is a thing that comes off your plate. Great. Okay. Well, is there anything else that we didn't talk about that we should mention? And then also maybe you can talk a little bit about some of the other services that you offer. Sure. You know, I would say when you're looking for a PEO, there are lots of options out there in the market and depending on what state, um, there can be even more than other states. I would look for two things when you're shopping for a PEO. One is, is your PEO IRS certified? There's actually a list of PEOs that are IRS certified. Avidus is one of those. Um, it helps the business owner pick a better quality provider and also there's some tax benefits as well. Um, so that's one thing to look for. The second thing to look for is look at your business, determine what your growth plans are. Some PEOs only focus in a couple of states while some are nationwide. So think about where you want to go with your business and pick a partner that fits that. Right. Yep. All right. So I know you, Avidas does a few other things. So do you want to talk just a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Jean. Um, in addition to PEO services, we are called Avidas Group. So there are quite a, a, a wide selection of other things we can do. Um, some of my favorites that most business owners love, especially in a tight labor market we're in now is the recruiting service. We offer um, three different types of recruiting support, executive search headhunter, which will go out and find people for you, interview them for you. We have an attempt to hire model, which you just pay an hourly rate and Avidas covers everything, workers comp, salary, everything. And you can hire them after six months if you like them. If you don't like them, you can, we'll take care of the termination and, and, the, and, the, and the swap out. And then thirdly, there's a, we call it Vetus Rec. It's basically a job posting. Um, and it's uh, ZipRecruiter, LinkedIn, Monster, Glassdoor, Indeed. It's all those online job portals packaged mm -hmm. into one. Oh, wow. And you, adver you advertise um, to your you know, desired hire base, the job opening. So that's one service we do. We also do um, bookkeeping and tax, uh, two services that we um, do very well. Bookkeeping side, we specialize primarily in QuickBooks. All our advisors are QuickBooks Pro certified, which means you get a technology person who understands the software and an accountant at the same time. And then on the tax side, of course, you know we can handle projects as well as end of year tax filings for the business, but also the business owner. So those are a couple of services we do um, that people often love. We have others as well. We do marketing and branding, and we do. Um, uh, a wide range of things that you can, which you can see on avidasgroup.com. Yep. All right. That's, that's great. I mean, some of those services really just tie right in. I like the, um, you know, the whole um, job postings and then the temp hires, which is another option that cleaning companies could think about too. So absolutely. Absolutely. It's so hard to find good people. <laughs> I know that's the name of the game, right? Yep, yep. So we will have, I'll, I'll post a link um, on the video and so you um, to your website so that people can go there and check it out. And Pete, I thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. This was very helpful. Gene, my pleasure.